Parkinson's disease is a result of the destruction of the centers in the brain that release dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter, it's a chemical that helps facilitate movement of the body. And in Parkinson's disease, there's destruction of those cells, leading to an overall loss of dopamine. There's a little bit around. Usually the symptoms that we see in Parkinson's include bradykinesia, which is very slow movements, micrographia, which is the concept of very tiny handwriting compared to the patient's usual is also often seen. Then they have this rigid magnetic gait. It's very difficult for them to walk smoothly and at a normal pace. Uh, their feet are stuck to the floor and it takes great effort for them to lift each foot. They often end up having to use a rolling walker. Then you also have tremors. There's a whole host of other symptoms and Parkinson's symptoms can also lead to the development of memory changes, which often resemble Alzheimer's. One of the main differences between Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease is that you have motor problems in Parkinson's disease. Other symptoms that are non-motor in Parkinson's include a change in sleep. Then there are memory changes we just mentioned. There are also mood impacts, and there may or may not be a loss of smell. Parkinson's disease is often brought up in the doctor's office, usually by the patient themselves or a family member. Treatment is with carbidopa levodopa, which is a form of dopamine that is able to get into the brain and help the patient with their symptoms. It's often given to the patient four to five times a day. And that's Parkinson's in a nutshell.